I just realized like why would an ADHD person promise telling a story while doing something else? Like what is wrong with me? <laughs> that preface before I even started this video that I'm horrible at painting my nails hello everybody hi you too welcome to a new segment that I'm gonna call painting my nails and talking about my trauma Yay! here's the tea I haven't really Plans what trauma I'm gonna talk about. There's so many, there's so much to choose from that I just figured it'd be fun to, you know, improv it and just go crazy with it. So let's just get into it, right? Also, warning, these traumas are gonna range from stupid to maybe mildly stupid to maybe we'll get into like some deep shit, but like we need to keep the series going before I just tell you guys like my literal little, little lie. I think I'm just gonna turn this into all my traumas in school. Like, because there's a lot. So maybe we'll just get into school trauma for today. Well, all my trauma begins. Basically, in second grade, there was this kid in my freaking class. We were in second grade. The teacher handed out Starburst, right? Normal, a normal snack, a normal treat to hand out. I looked over and he, and this kid, let's name him Derek. Okay, Derek was taking the Starburst with the wrapper on it. With the wrapper on it, putting it on his tongue and being like, ah, like that. And I was like, Derek, like you're gonna hurt yourself. Like I was concerned for his well-being. Like my cancer Venus was fucking wilding. Like my cancer Venus was like, Derek, like I don't want you to get hurt. Like let me nurture you. Like let me look after you. Like let me care for you, Derek. Like you're scaring me, Derek. And he like didn't give a shit. And he was like being so rude as men are, as men do. You know, didn't want to take advice from a woman because of his masculinity. Like we get it, you're a man. But also, you're gonna choke, like, and I'm worried about you. So, of course, I tattletailed. As anyone should in that situation. My teacher said, I said, Der I said, Derek's doing something dangerous. And my teacher said, what is he doing? And I said, he's going like this. And, and I did, took the starburst and I put it on my tongue with the wrapper. I did exactly what he did to show it to the teacher so he would stop. Guess what happened when I did it? Guess what happened? I choked. I choked. I choked. And this is why you don't tattletale. This is why you mind your business, kids. You mind your business because when you don't be minding your business, Karma gets you. So basically, I started choking. Like, when I say choking, I mean literally, I have never choked like this in my life. I was choking, and everyone starts running, going, ah, ah, and then, like, they called, like, the office on, like, the speaker, like, someone's choking. So what happened was, is that my teacher did the Heimlich on me, and then once the nurse came, I had already spit out the starburst like she did it I was like <clears throat> and I spit it out and then the nurse came because when you choke they have to take you in a wheelchair for some reason to the nurse's office and like call your mom but it happened to be like at the end of the day that this happened and so while I was at the nurse's office the bell literally rang and I like take the bus home so the nurse was like oh do you just want to go home and I said yeah so then the nurse called, she, she said, you try to call your mom really fast though. So I go to call my mom. And just goes to a voicemail. So I get on the bus and my mom doesn't even know that I choked. And then when I come home, I go to tell my mom that I choked. And this bitty like just thinks I'm lying. Like this bitty thinks I'm just like talking out of my ass. When in reality, I really did choke, but she thought I was like kidding. So then I was traumatized from that, that she didn't believe me that I choked when I did. Anyways, my next trauma, hmm, what should we get into? Eee! Okay, in third grade, I didn't really have 
have a lot of trauma except I would go into the bathroom during class and just like stare at myself naked in the bathroom. Is that a weird thing to admit? Oh well. Wait, everyone's gonna think I'm crazy. It's okay. It's I would though. And I would just look though. Like I would take off my, my shirt and I'd just be like... Yeah, and then I, and then I put on my then I put my shirt back on, and I just go back to class like it was normal. I was just curious like what was going on while I was in class. <laughs> like, did anything change? No. Nope. All right, so I'll just go back then, you know. But I would do it a lot, and <laughs> like I don't know. I was just curious like what is down there. Also in third grade, I was such a G like. I wasn't a good student, but I got fine grades. That's because I'm just really good at finessing. So like, it's just kind of in my blood to like finesse, you know what I'm saying? In third grade, I would never do the homework. Obviously, I was never doing the homework. And so, she would always like call, call on us and ask us if we did the homework or not. And you'd have to show it to her in the morning. And I knew when she was going to do it. And so every time she'd act, like she'd go down the list and ask, I'd ask to go to the bathroom and I'd be in the bathroom looking at myself naked and I and I'd hear her go Emily Grayson and no one would like you wouldn't hear anything and then finally someone would go she's in the bathroom and I'd be naked like and she'd be like oh I'll just ask her later and then she would never ask me and I don't know how she didn't catch on to that because I'm literally a third grader, like I'm an idiot, you're an adult. She never caught on, she never asked me because the grades, I would get the grade back and she would have wrote, she would, she wrote it down as a 100, like she gave me 100 for it. But she really never asked. And I was doing it on purpose because I wasn't doing them every time. So, and she just kept giving me hundreds. So, Mrs. Soften, I feel like she's probably dead, but if you're alive, listen, girl, like, you were getting tricked by a third grader, and I think that's concerning. Not even just an, a third grader, but a naked third grader. So, maybe that's just something to think about, Miss Soften. I don't know. Anyways, this is what my nails are looking like right now. Not the best, right? Not the best. But we tried. We're gonna do a smiley face. So we're gonna take yellow and we're gonna put it here and then uh, the, and then you'll see what I do. As we get to the final stages of nail, I will say one more traumatic story. Okay, the last traumatic story, and there's so many more, but the but the last one for this video is in I think around fourth grade. I kissed a girl for the first time. This girl was my friend and we would go, we would be at her house. We'd be playing house and stuff like that, obviously as lesbians do. And obviously I'm the dad and obviously we're kissing. Like obviously, and that's why if you watch my coming out video, like I didn't even talk about this cause I genuinely just forgot and was talking so much. But like, I talk about how I really didn't realize I was a lesbian until high school, which is true. Like that is true. However, I was kissing girls in elementary school. And so I don't understand where the disconnect was. You're kissing girls, you're liking it. At what point do you think that you're not? But anyways, we were playing house. Of course I was a dad, blah, blah, blah. And so then, in school, I was like talking to my friends about playing the game, about playing house, and I was like, yeah, like, I'm always the dad. And they were like, why? And I was like, because I like it. And they were like, why don't you be the mom? And I was like, no, that's weird. And then they were like, why is that weird? Like, do you not want to be a mom? And then I freaked out and was like, uh, uh, and then, one of them was like, yeah, my mom can't have babies. Like, cause this video was like adopted. So she was always talking about the fact that she's like adopted and saying how like her mom like can't have kids or whatever. And I was like, girl, 
nobody asked. Nobody asked. Like, they're roasting me right now, and all of a sudden you're talking about how your mom can't have kids. Like, can you keep your opinions to yourself, girl? Like, there is a time and there is a place. But anyways, hope she's doing well. Um, <laughs> so then I spiraled and I made up this whole lie about why I can't have kids. Uh, and it's th the reason being is because I eat a lot of bacon. And when you eat a lot of bacon, you can't have, like, a baby because, like, Something about like the like the like babies are allergic to bacon and like if they eat it Obviously, I don't know how the reproductive system works in second grade But um, I was like if babies eat the bacon they'll die in there So I can't have babies because I eat a lot of bacon like I stay eating bacon and then that caused this girl to freak out because her like little brother who's like a toddler they'd be giving him bacon and they and she thought that he was gonna die so then she ran to the teacher to tell her and the teacher had to calm her down because she literally had a panic attack because she thought her brother was gonna die and it was my fault because i lied anyways look how cute my nails are now yay <laughs> anyways now we're gonna go in and make the little smiley face and we're almost done so let's do that yeah. and we're all done thank you for coming to spilling my childhood trauma and painting my nails i will show you the finished nails i haven't done the top coat yet but it's because this video is going to be so long and i need to wait for the smiley faces to dry or i'll ruin them so i'm just going to go do that later they're very bad don't judge me okay you can't judge here is my left hand okay and here is my right hand don't make fun of me don't make fun of me but that's a finished product thank you for listening to my stories i hope they made any sense anyways i'm gonna make this a series i'm gonna whenever i do my nails i am going to spill some trauma so that was literally 1% of it. I didn't even get through all of elementary school, so we will we'll get through we'll finish elementary school We'll get into middle school we'll get into high school we'll get into college. There's so much trauma in college um, I'm excited. So consider this a new beginning a new series. I'm excited. You should be too I want to kiss all of you on the mouth. I love you all so much. I appreciate all of you I will be back soon with more videos. I'm gonna try to post twice a week on here i'm scared to say that and then not follow through but like i really want to start youtubing a lot more and yeah let me know what else you'd like to see from me um i do want to do character videos and stuff i just i want to like give you guys a little bit more of me first before i start delving into the character if there's anything you guys want to see from me vlogs la 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 give me ideas um and yeah um, anyways i love you guys so much thank you for being here see you soon Peace. These are me and my nails, me and my nails. I said me and my really bad lesbian nails. Yeah. yeah.